Well, it would seem like a strange thing to say, to say welcome to Working Football Club, because you've both been around for quite a while, but maybe officially welcome to the first team squad, Charlie Hestercook and Danny Chills. Thank you. Um, Danny, let's start with you. Tell us about Danny Chills. I mean, I was started off in the Sunday League, so I was about 13, 14, and then I signed for Mill for two and a half years, and I didn't get what I wanted there, so I ended up at Barnet, and I didn't enjoy it. So I brought Lamed out to a couple of Roman South Sides, uh, Walton Casuals, East Grinstead, and enjoyed men's football there. And then I got in touch with Scott and he persuaded me to come here and we had a great season, we were very successful and I enjoyed it. So was last season your first one at Woking? First season at Woking, yeah. And, and what made you get in touch with Scott? Uh, I knew Charlie was here. I spoke to Charlie and spoke highly of it and told him to come down and see what it was like. Right, so uh, are you from the sort of east end of London? or I'm from Hampton. Oh right, so yeah. Millwall was not exactly on your doorstep. No, it was a tough journey every day. So Hampton, being at Hampton is rather better being signed here. Mm. And uh, what about yourself as a player? I mean, I'm more of a happy to defend and keep clean sheets, but I can play on the ball as well and influence a lot to the team. You've played it right back, haven't you, in the friendlies? Yeah. So you're primarily a defender. Yeah, at right back was it is something fairly new to me. Okay. I'm used to playing centre half, and but I'm <laughs> well, you're not big enough in I'm this team, are you? <laughs> not big enough in this team, so I had to adapt to right back. But I've enjoyed it. Good. It's something I want to look at going forward. And uh, have, you, have you played elsewhere in, as a younger lad? I mean, most 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 boys who are good at football when they're in the school team and stuff like that. They want to play out front, so they yeah, score I mean, all the goals. I was a striker in the school team, yeah. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely, to be expected. Thanks. Well, Charlie, where were you before you joined the um, Woking Academy then? So since I was eight, I've been at QPR, so I was there for eight years. Um, I did enjoy it. I thought I'd been a worse player, but obviously broke my leg um, under 15s, and obviously then it was hard to get a couple of contracts. So then after that, I um, went on like extra trials, that like Dagger Redbridge, other clubs, and then... I got into contact with Scott and Scott invited me down for a few sessions and then from there he signed me. But funny enough, before that um, I was at Hampton Richmond for a couple of games and played for their 18s and both of them games were against Woking. And then from there we've come here and then yeah, it's been good. I mean, I've been around the first team for quite a while, like as in, in and out of training sessions, sorry, senior cup games. Well, I was think I made my debut when I was 16 against Mike Leatherhead. But yeah, it's been good. Um, I, feel, I feel good to progress this year and hopefully it goes well. So Danny had heard about Scott Harrison from yourself. Where did you hear about him? Um, just I got in contact with me from Exit Trials. So I went on Exit Trial at Charterhouse School and then she let it come through the door saying we're interested, so I thought I'd give it a go. So what exactly are Exit Trials? Can you explain it's that just, for us? It's mainly just sort of boys released from uh, academies from literally around the country and sort of it's just brought together at one location and there's this it's hard there's a lot of like different players probably like over a hundred players mm. and it's just literally just like trying to stand, you, out. Trying to stand out in front of right. like hundreds of players and you just play like three or four 50 minute matches okay. throughout the day just to prove yourself so, yeah, it's, it's not the best I don't think but it's not bad yeah. it still gets you spoiled well yeah you, you both ended up at Woking as yeah. a result of it I guess I guess that's better than back to Sunday League yeah true yeah. So, and uh, again, as I said already, working sports probably know a bit more about you because, as you said, you've played in Surrey Senior Cup and so on. But uh, for those who haven't had the opportunity to see you play, tell us about yourself as a player. Um, I, always think, I think I'm quite composed on the ball. I like to just get the ball moving, sort of give it to more like attacking players further up the pitch to like progress forwards. And I don't mind doing like the ugly side of the game as well, like getting in tackles, winning the ball back and then just yeah, giving it to the more creative players throughout the team. So you're a sort of dog of war in midfield then, are you? Yeah, because uh, yeah, just <laughs> get the ball, give it going, yeah. So hopefully get the ball, give it to someone who can play football. football. Yeah, <laughs> and hopefully I can prove that throughout the season, whether it's trying to break into the first team or just out on loan, we'll, we'll see throughout the season. Right, so you've signed both of you today. Do you see the season going as um, being on the bench, being backups, being... I mean, the, main, uh, the main thing is... At the moment, getting men's minutes under our belt and yeah. getting some men's experience and then whether it be people not performing or injuries, whatever, 
then we can maybe get in. But for us, well for me at the moment, it's not a case of sitting on the bench, it's getting out, playing men's football, getting some experience. Sure. And then hopefully, if I can, break into the team. Right, well, I'm sure you both know, uh, particularly having seen Charlie Carter the last two seasons, there's nothing working supporters like more than seeing guys who get through from the academy. And while you haven't been here for a massive long time, either of you, you'll still be one of our own to our supporters, I'm sure. So uh, we wish you the very best of luck in, in getting minutes uh, in the first team. Thanks for your time Thank today. You. Cheers, thank you.